Hey guys, welcome to another video on the What's New channel and in this video we'll be taking a look at yet another dive watch purchase that I've made. Uh, it seems like I'm starting to form a hobby around uh, watches and dive watches in, in particular. And when I saw this uh, orange dial, um, yeah, I was I just had to have it. Um, I think it looks stunning. Uh, I could probably end the video right here. <laughs> Um, because that's all I really have to say about this thing. I think uh, it looks amazing, but uh, I will give you a bit of an overview and what I uh, tell you what I think about the watch. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I have been uh, purchasing up some uh, dive watches recently. I did get the green Pagani, uh, another blue uh, Seiko. Um, so now I've got those uh, colors in the in the uh, watch box. Uh, I think I'm looking at uh, the Orient red one, uh, maybe the Kamasu or the Kano. As my next purchase but uh yeah let's just uh, uh enjoy this one for now so yeah this is the srpc 55j this is the uh, japanese made one and it comes with the uh, 4r36 i believe um yep 4r36 movement which you can actually uh see from the back as well uh, which is great um the the blue Seiko that I had that the SNZ fifty three I think came comes with the four R thirty five and it didn't have the uh, hand winding what this one does so that's uh, definitely a, a bonus for me um, I mean you don't have to do the uh, the Seiko shake uh, like I do on the other one uh, um, other watch uh, on this particular one so um, the hand winding does definitely make a difference and uh, uh, it's good to see that this one um, has that. Uh, it also has a hacking as well, so it will, the, the second hand will stop uh, once you pull out the uh, the crown to the second position. <clears throat> it's got a day and a date wheel. And uh, yeah, uh, in terms of some specs on this watch, uh, this is a chunky watch. Uh, it's 46 uh, millimeters uh, um, uh, from a diameter perspective, so it will wear a bit large. Um, but it is also helped on by the fact that the lugs do uh, drop and taper off pretty quickly as well. So it does conform to my wrist pretty easily. I have about a 7 inch uh, wrist and it does look pretty good on that. <clears throat> it's also uh, 13 millimeters uh, thick. Um, and I actually prefer that. Uh, I like a little bit of a thicker watch. Um, I'm not worried about uh, having the watch show underneath any cuffs and stuff or uh, hiding it under a cuff. So. Um, I like a, a nice uh, uh, chunky watch on my wrist, <clears throat> so uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, it has uh, nice uh, finishings, um, especially on the uh, this part here. It has a little bit of a polishing, um, and it adds a little bit of a, uh, oomph to the uh, to the uh, final product. And the the bezel also, you could see, uh, is nicely polished as well. <clears throat> Now the action on the bezel is a little bit of a flimsy one compared to some of my other Seikos, <clears throat> uh, but it's not too bad. Um, it does align, which is a, a great thing. Um, and yes, this is, is this is a genuine Seiko um, because it aligns as well. So <clears throat> um, the the bracelet is a standard uh, Seiko one with a uh, pressed uh, clasp. Um, yeah, so nothing to write about uh, on that um, other than, yeah, just it works as per usual. So it does have a double lock mechanism there, <clears throat> uh, which is great. So let me just pull that one out. There we go. Um, the com you know, it's quite relatively comfortable as well. Um, the watch, I think, weighs about uh, 165 grams with the uh, thing. I removed two links, so uh, it is reasonably heavy but it's not too bad um, I have a Tissot which weighs in at about 200 or so or 220 grams so compared to that this is uh, this is nothing um, some other specs on the watch uh, this is a hundred meter um, uh, water resistant and uh, I think I mentioned the fact that it has a hard like crystal um, this one uh, yeah um, the, the box that it comes in, there's nothing special in it other than just a little bit of a pillow and the, the, the box with the extra links um, and the warranty card. So um, nothing to uh, talk much further about that. But uh, yeah, how does it look on my wrist? I'll uh, put it on. I'll show you. <clears throat> there we go. Has, the bracelet has a you know standard light play as like other uh, Seiko bracelets. I might get a uh, another bracelet for this. Um, <clears throat> I think would look pretty nice with a, a Jubilee style bracelet. 
so I'll check that out but uh, as you can see uh, the the watch is uh, relatively um, big there <clears throat> this is how it sits from the top or well, this is how the view from the top is like and uh, from the side yeah um, I think it fits me pretty well I'm pretty happy with it um, there we go that's the uh, that's a look at another purchase that I recently made uh, to satisfy my uh, dive watch uh, hunger uh, and hobby and I think uh, this is uh, you know, quickly becoming one of my favorites if not the favorite yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions about this one uh, I will leave a link down into the description below of wherever I can find uh, it on the uh, Amazon AU or the US uh, websites uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions see you later thanks for watching